Hi everybody, Creative Katie Karen Birchall here. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do some jelly printing with stencils and we're going to create some grungy, great looking gel prints. So I'm working on my 8x10 gel, gel plate and the first step is to put a layer of black paint. Brayer that right on. Now we're going to talk about the amounts of paint here. On this one, I'm being, I'm it, I'm putting as much paint as I would normally put for a gel print. But at the end of the video, we're going to put more paint on. And we're going to get a slightly different effect. The first part of this video is I've for the 10 minutes or so I've kept in real time, and then I've sped up the other part. I'm going to stick to basically the same technique. So this stencil is called Cosmic Mu Music. It's one of the new TCW Winter 2022. So after you get a layer of black paint, you're going to put the stencil on. Just lay it right on top. And then you are going to remove the black paint from the negative space with a sheet of copy paper. Later on, I'm going to put some gel prints and actually use it to make put marks on those gel prints and I'm just lifting all that black from the holes the negative space of the stencil now it if you remove as much as you can, you're going to get a slightly different effect. If you leave some, it's going to look even grungier. And so you can play with what look you like best and leave more or take away less. Now I'm going to use a small, this is a Ranger brayer, and I'm going to brayer color right on top of the stencil into the negative spaces. And for most of these, I've used two or three colors. So each one, I'm going to give you lots of variations. I'm going to give you different color combos, and I'm going to use some of the different stencils so you get an idea of what works or, or what doesn't work, what you like. So that was um, Bright Aqua. Now I'm using Yellow Green. And I'm brayering it, that's my 5 by 7 gel plate on the side. And this just helps you put a nice even amount on, and you have a lot of control using that smaller brayer. I also like using that smaller Ranger brayer when I'm doing um, my art journal pages, when I'm brayering on those pages. Now I'm grabbing, I believe, Quinacridone Magenta. And some of my tubes of paint are, you know, close to the end. So it's a little bit of a struggle to get the paint out. Mainly I'm using medium body paint that's all Liquitex Basics or Artist Loft. So depending if you're using fluid um, acrylics or different brands of acrylics, it's going to be a slight adjustment and you're going to have to play with it to make sure to see how it works. You can also use craft paint but that's going to go on different because that's more liquidy. In entirety, this gel printing session was about two hours. This video is about 41 minutes. So that gives you an idea of how later on it's going to be sped up. But I do have close-ups of the picture. Now, if you don't have a gel plate to brayer off the brayer, the paint on, get the paint on the brayer, you can use a silicone mat like I showed you there. Then you're going to pull off the stencil. 
Now, this is where you have to be patient because this has to dry. <coughs> and because I'm not patient, I am actually using, I have two gel plates. So I'm going to be do, working on another one while the other one is drying. So on the other gel plate, I am putting the layer of black paint Braying that on and I'm using a different brayer for the black paint a small one for the colored paint and then there'll be another brayer later on now this what this stencil is called rainbow branch circle and it's another new one and I will list these these are not available for purchase until mid-February 2022 there is a link to the TCW store and a coupon code in my description box too because they'll definitely have them there or you can ask for them by name at the place where you get your stencils. So paint goes on, stencil, remove the paint from the black, from the negative space. And now we get to apply color to this. Now I'm sticking with colors that I know work together. You can look at the color wheel, put colors that you know that you like. A lot of it is trial and error. So here I'm using orange. This is just Artist Loft Orange. And then I'm coming in with Deep Violet from Liquitex. Now I know that when Deep Violet and Orange mix, they make this rosy color that I absolutely love. And then I'm putting in some yellow oxide, which is that deep golden yellow. These are warm colors. So once the colors are on, I'm going to remove the stencil. And set the gel plate so that paint dries to the touch. So here's the first one and it is dry to the touch. So now we are going to put a layer of paint. Now here I am using unbleached titanium and that is what the um, artist used in the video. This was on the gel press site. I don't remember the name. It was about two months ago. She used unbleached titanium, which is off white. And as you can see, you can still see the pattern coming through. So once there's a layer of that, I am going to pull this print. This is just regular copy paper. And I'm sorry for the blur. It just, my camera doesn't like the white. And I'm pressing it down. And if it's not coming off just quite yet, I'm rubbing it a little bit more. So you kind of take a peek and go that way. 
and then peel it back and pull the plate and it should lift everything out and there you have it now some of the black you see where some of the black has disappeared and that's where the titanium white unbleached titanium shows and here's another one that i created using the same stencil slightly different colors so i'm loving that stencil works great on the gel plate definitely going to be a fast favorite using the gel plate is one of the ways i get to know my stencils and see what they can do now i am using mars black here you could use Payne's gray which is a blue black i might try prussian blue or another very very dark color again this is just an example of what you can do i am going to give some variations later on but you're only limited by what you can imagine this is called basket weave another new new stencil and remove the paint from the negative space now i'm just putting this on the shipping papers that i got with my tcw stencils I'm going back to Bright Aqua, pressing it on my gel plate. So this technique, while very simple, is a little bit lengthy because you have to wait for it to dry. And there's several steps. But it makes for some beautiful, grungy gel, gel prints. And so to help myself out, I'm sticking to one technique and I'm staying within the same colors. I'm going to revisit some of these color combos, but I'm not grabbing every color in, in my kit, right? So that is Bright Aqua and this is Quinacridone Magenta. And when these blend together, they make purple. And I decided to add some neon green because I thought I'm just going to try the neons. Neons tend to be very translucent, but they worked well in this process. They add that little flash of color that really works well on the gel plate. Lift the stencil and let it dry. Now I was noticing with some of them, they when I lifted up the stencil, some of the black was coming off. And I'm going to, I came up with a solution at the end of the video. So the last pull, I'm testing out my theory. a layer of titanium white or unbleached titanium sorry but it's a very thin layer and i know the the person that i watched the video from a couple months ago said um you don't want to put a lot of paint and you want to be able to see the pattern through And 
and then we pull the print rubbing it and pulling it and I love this one but you can see some of that you see the unbleached titanium coming through it's not black because that lifted when I lifted the stencil or when I braired so now we're going to speed up the video and I'm going to show you some other variations I will tell you the names of the stencils this one is again rainbow branch circle black paint remove the black paint and apply color and this time I've gone with bright green and aquamarine blue I love mixing blue and green and getting that combination and oh, this time only two colors lift it but here you can see a lot of that black came up with the stencil unbleached titanium once it's dry and lift the print Now here, because a lot of that black lifted, you're seeing a lot of the unbleached titanium. And there's the two, same stencil. And again, those will be close-ups at the end, so you can really check. So while one's drying, I'm get preparing the next gel plate. You can see here, I've added a little bit more black paint back with the basket weave stencil. And here, I've grabbed some a gel print that has color on it base color on it and i'm going to keep i'm going to put that print on instead of wasting it i'm going to add that to my gel printing stash get bang for my buck nothing's wasted loving that look so that you know as a pull through it gives some nice marks trying to get a little bit more of the black out here I'm using this is Amsterdam green Amsterdam green blue and it's a very translucent color and I love how this looks on all of the um, gel prints quinacridone magenta which when they blend together, make a purple. Remove the stencil and let dry. Here's that first one, titanium, unbleached titanium. Apply it bare on a thin coat and lift the print. Yum. Preparing the next plate with the next pattern. When I do a gel printing session, I limit myself to a, a certain amount of stencils or a certain amount of colors. This one is another favorite. It's called Illusions. And I'm pulling it off on a base color gel print. I love those marks. There's a lot of paint there. I got a little bit more paint on here. So I'm having to 
work a little harder to get it off. Love that second pull. Now, I wasn't liking how the unbleached titanium was making it very m more vintage. So I'm thinking now that maybe I'm going to not use the unbleached titanium. I'm going to use a different color before I pull the print. This is Naples Yellow and Quinacridone Magenta, which make kind of a coral when they go together. They blend perfectly. And lift and move. So here I'm using, instead of unbleached titanium, I'm using white Liquitex Basics. Thin layer of white or light color. You could use a light pink or a light blue if you wanted. Again, try. It's a piece of paper. If you like it, you do it again. If you don't, you don't. And you lift it. So in using white, it kept my colors brighter. And I really like that. And here we see the one with titanium, unbleached titanium and the one with white. And you can see the difference. Neither's right or wrong, it just gives you a different effect. So you do what you want or what your purpose of the print is. If I wanted to go vintage, I'm going to maybe use more of the unbleached titanium. This one is called Viney Flowers. Here's an example, the cut, you know, the, when you pull it out here, it doesn't really give you a good pattern on the gel plate, gel print. I'll add more to it. Continuing to pull off more of the black. And I know I'm repeating myself as I go. I'm adding yellow oxide here. And red, cadmium red. And this is an example, I mean, I've got a gel print here and I'm sure I'll use it, but the, the gel print that I end up with on this one, I really don't like. So I don't know that I would use this stencil. I think there are better stencils that give greater effects for this technique. So you gotta match the technique. Liking the white, I'm just adding, putting white on here. Here's another one that I absolutely love. This is not a new stencil. It is one of my favorites and it's one that I had not gotten filed away. So I wanted to use it. It's called Linked Tiles. It's one of my favorites. If you like, I highly recommend that stencil. You'll get a lot of use out of it. So there I put it on a colored gel print a bait with a base color. I do have a playlist where I do other gel printing sessions as well as there are videos where I'm using the gel prints.
This is that Amsterdam green blue or blue green. Naples yellow. And when the Naples yellow and that blue green get together, they make a kind of teal color. Then I'm adding some burnt sienna. And again, I know this is a winning color combination that looks good on an art journal page. And then it dries. So here is that viney flowers. And I, instead of white or unbleached titanium, I'm using Naples yellow here. Thought I'd change it up. And while I don't love this print, it does really look like vintage wallpaper or a vintage rug. I'll definitely use it. This stencil is called Bouquet Bliss. And I thought, oh, it's a very different one. I wonder how that's going to work. That blue green. I believe that's some deep violet. As I'm thinking, as I'm watching this, I'm thinking, what if we did it backwards and did white paint first? I don't know how that would work. Hmm. An experiment for another day. Here I decide to use the white, even though the colors are somewhat vintage looking. Oh. OMG, I love, love, love. You can see that blue-green. I just fell in love with it. That's why I keep using it. Back to the Illusion stencil. That one I didn't like, so I'll add another layer. Quite like it now. It's going to be an interesting paper to use for collage. Some more neon green. That green blue from Amsterdam and some deep violet. By the time I'm done a gel printing session, my hands are just covered.
you know, I wasn't sure this would work, but I'm really liking how that looked. I think that will make an interesting Insta background. Or art journal page. I think I'll be taking some of these and making a mini art journal with them. I'll put a link to a video where I recently did that by just using gel prints and gluing pages and folding pages. This is a great way, like I said, to break in your stencils, to break in your supplies. So this time I did it a little differently. I grabbed gray purple from Liquitex. And bright aqua. And I just stuck to two colors here. Play. When you have your gel plate out, play. And you'll be surprised. Like even a print that you don't like can be the start of a great page. This lifted up a lot of the black. I discovered if I flip it over and look at the back, you can kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like. I put my gel plates on. This one is just a plastic cutting board. And the other one is on a glass from a framed picture. So that one, the, the, the paint lifted there. I'm just adding a little bit of color back in instead of having this white splotch in the middle. Another OMG. I love it. But I definitely prefer the ones where I put white. Now this is called color wheel. And, you know, I thought, I just want to see what this looks like on there. We'll get some interesting pattern on here. So following the same steps. You know, I'm not making, well, I kind of make a color wheel. But I want the design element of it. So here I am making different colors as I go around this color wheel. I'm not making a true color wheel. But I do want the rainbow effect. So I'm adding, you know, I have the, the quinacridone magenta, and then I add mix it with orange, then I have straight orange, then I mix orange and yellow, then I go straight yellow, and around we go. But I'm not trying to be exact or, you know, really create a color wheel. Although this stencil will be great to do that, to make a color wheel reference tool. Mixing a little bit of blue in there, a little bit of green, getting just different shades. Experiment. Have fun. That's how you discover great things. A lot of the things that I've really discovered that I then use on purpose were mainly mistakes. So we are close to the end of the video. There is another seven minutes.
and I've been noticing on some of the some of the prints where the black when I lift off the stencil the black lots of some of the black comes off or some of it comes off when I brayer on the white or the unbleached titanium and it wasn't giving me that stained glass contrast look that I wanted see here a lot of it's very white very little black showed up so I actually ended up watching some more videos and I did find a video where they said they came to the they basically told me what I had thought maybe was the problem but I'm going to do a pull or one of the one of them with that and you'll see the difference so you can learn from my mistake or my learning so I'm loving that. I'm thinking that's going to be a great page. So we have all the gel prints and you can see where the white or the black lifted. So here I am putting more paint than what you would normally do for a gel printing. So make it fairly wet. Stencil goes on. This is called geonetting. Pull off the paint from the from the negative space now when you have more paint here it's definitely taking two pulls to get the black off which if you're using it to make other gel prints or put marks on it works fine loving that look just getting rid of more of it And now we're going to apply the color through the on top of the stencil. Yellow oxide. I love that one on color combo, so I went back to it. Because when you find something that works, do it again. Write it down to remind yourself. Bright aqua. This is another favorite stencil from my stash. Not one of the new ones, but I'll list it in this description box too. Just clearing off the gel plate that I'm using to brayer paint. And here is the burnt sienna. You can see where the black is. It's pretty solid black. It's a lot darker than I was getting on the other ones. That's because I put way more paint. Here I'm using the unbleached titanium. I'm going vintage. Thin layer here. So if you want it blacker to get more of that stained, stained glass look, more black paint make it fairly wet and pulling it off and there you can see the contrast it's just blacker this one there's a lot of white coming through so here are the stencils they are filthy i will put a link to my number one best way of cleaning stencils there are close-ups of all the prints coming up let me know which one you like the best i hope you give this technique a try Have fun with it. Experiment. And until next time, go get creative.